Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm your presenter, Mervyn Matthew. Thank you for joining us. Coming up, the body of the former president of Dominica Lane State on Thursday. A young Dominican spreads the word about the sickle cell disease and today, June 18, marked the 34th anniversary of the OECS. Details of our headline stories and others after this. You're watching GIS. Thank you for staying with us. Just one day before the state's funeral for the late Dr. Nicholas Joseph of Liverpool, the island's head of state, His Excellency Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, the Honorable Speaker of the House of Assembly, Alex Boyd Knight, members of Parliament, members of the Diplomatic Corps, as well as members of the public signed a condolence book, greeted members of his family, and walked slowly past the casket draped with the national flag. The body of the former president lay in state for five hours at the conference room of the State House. The state funeral will commence at 3 p.m. on Friday at the Grand Bay Roman Catholic Church. The late Dr. Nicholas Liverpool will be laid to rest at the Grand Bay Roman Catholic Cemetery. On Thursday, June 18, 2015, member states of the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, celebrated the 44th anniversary of that organization. Established in 1981, seven countries, namely Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines signed the Treaty of Bastia in St. Kitts and Nevis. The observance of OECS Day serves to heighten awareness about the OECS integration movement and to reflect on the achievements of the OECS Economic Union. On Thursday, Director General and the Chairman of the OECS Commission, Dr. Didacus Jules, addressed the OECS nine member states. It is interesting in reviewing the historical record to discover that among the signatories to that historical project, were political leaders as far ideologically and temperamentally apart as Eugenia Charles of Dominica and Maurice Bishop of Grenada. An eloquent enough testament to the fact that what unites us is far greater than that which divides us. Anniversaries like this provide us with an opportunity to assess and celebrate the accomplishments of the past recognizing that it is on the foundation of these accomplishments that the future is constructed. Build strong foundations that are deep and resilient, and you can stand securely in the present and go higher in the future. According to Dr. Jules, the accomplishments of the OECS over the past 34 years go unnoticed by many, but the fact that they are taken for granted is the greatest testimony of their lasting impact they now constitute an indistinguishable element of our everyday existence. They include, at the institutional level, the fact that we have a small but well-woven cluster of institutions with an enviable record of their own contribution to our daily lives. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority, and the Eastern Caribbean Telecommunications Authority. The world in which we live today is a brutally competitive place with an uncompromising dominance of the large and the powerful. Our ability to navigate and survive like the proverbial straw is largely dependent on our ability to work to common purpose and forge a united will. Some of the foundations laid over the past 34 years now constitute some of the pillars of our resilience in the turbulence of today. In Dominica, the Dominica Association of Teachers, Early Childhood Educators, spearheaded by Spices Center, held an exhibition with the theme Promoting Tourism Within the OECS at the Windsor Park Stadium. The event was funded by the OECS Commission. GIS News will bring you more from the Director General and the Chairman of the OECS in a subsequent newscast. 
founder of the Sickle Cell Cares Foundation, Kellen George, is spreading the message of the debilitating disease known as sickle cell disease or anemia. She wants to inform Dominicans about the disease and to give hope to those suffering, as well as to form support groups around the country. A judge explains in detail the extent of the disease. Sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder that um, affects the shape of your red blood cells. So it affects the way your genes code for your red blood cells and if you have sickle cell anemia, your blood cells Majority of your blood, not majority, some of your blood cells will be crescent shaped like a moon as opposed to being round shaped and that then it hinders its ability to uptake oxygen. So it limits the capacity of oxygen that that cell is able to uptake. Therefore what you find is body tissues are now limited in their capacity of oxygen that they um, receive due to the limited capacity of oxygen that the cell is about to take up. So then it can, further complicate, it can cause further complications like pain crises, gallbladder infection, osteonecrosis, you name it, any one of your organs can be affected. Kellen also suffers from the disease and says the best way to deal with it is to remain positive, taking on one challenge at a time. Pain crises, um, blood transfusions, I've had a lot of those, I've had gallbladder removal surgery, I've had liver failure, I've had kidney failure, I've been in a coma, but um, like I said, you just deal with whatever health condition you're faced with at the time, and once you conquer it, you can move on. In Dominica, there is a 33% prevalence of the disease. The foundation has partnered with Save Against Sickling based in Connecticut to procure a blood refrigerator for the Princess Margaret Hospital to store blood. Kellen says fresh blood saves lives of sicklers. It is extremely important to the fact that I could, after this interview, I could, my blood level could drop and I could need a transfusion. It could happen that rapidly. So the availability of blood on hand to be able to, for people, patients to receive transfusion is a key aspect of treating sickle cell disease. I mean, even if we are, our mandate for donating is for sicklers, I mean, anybody could need a blood transfusion. Somebody could have an accident outside and they would need a blood transfusion. We need to be able to have blood on hand to treat people instead of the current system where I think it's if somebody needs blood they call the red cross for donors you know we're trying to cut out the middleman so to speak i mean we still want people to donate blood but we don't want we don't we want it to be a situation where the person can get instantly treated as opposed to waiting an hour or a day to be to receive the treatment that they need the blood refrigerator will be donated to the princess margaret hospital on thursday save against sickly and raise funds in collaboration with Ross University and we raised $15,000 to purchase the refrigerator. We went through the whole process of meeting with um, the head of the lab at PMH and the blood bank to s and gave them you know the catalogs the specs to ask them what they needed so we did meet with them so it's not just oh here you know look what we're giving you we did have discourse with them regarding um, what their needs are, so to speak. Kellen says support is fundamental to anyone suffering with sickle cell disease or any other life-threatening illness. She will travel to London over the weekend to receive the first ever Queen's Leaders Award. The award will be presented by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for starting the Sickle Cell Cares Foundation and raising awareness of the disease in Dominica. In more news, the Office of Disaster Management is encouraging the use of radio data systems as part of Dominica's early warning system. Radio data systems are communications protocol standard for embedding small amounts of digital information in conventional FM radio broadcasts. RDS also allows broadcasters to transmit warning messages to listeners in the event of a national emergency. Program Officer at the Office of Disaster Management, Steve Joseph, notes that the use of the RDS are essential to ensure that all nationals are alerted in the case of such an event. 
the RDS will receive a text, but it also sends out an alarm. Um, and loud enough within your neighborhood that if you're not located right within its vicinity, you will still hear it. Um, some of our elderly may not be, uh, you know, um, able to hear as well as, as the younger generation. Uh, we're catering for that too. Um, we're hoping that um, the telephone, the, the mass SMS, might appeal more to the younger generation. Um, but the RDS is a radio, and it's a radio that receives all the radio stations like any other radio. Our, if, if an elderly is interested, they might be listening to DBS or, or Voice of Life or Q. They might not be so interested in the iPhones. And so we're trying to cater for all age groups and all, all, all aspects of our society. The officer warns, however, that although the use of these RDS are important, communities should each have their individual community-based warning plans. The RDS is not meant though, to replace our, our local means of alerting our community. It is meant for once we have that information at the, at the EOC, the ODM, and a decision is, is taken to authorize that warning, uh, the system will be activated and that message will go out. One message will go up to the various mediums. Uh, once it gets to the community, the community then activates its own means of alerting, whether it's a bell, uh, whether it's a conch shell like in, in Biosh, or whether you know it's a, a village hailer that goes around with maybe a, a loud hailer or just shouting, asking people to take action. Um, so, so it is not meant to replace some of the traditional means of warning our people or alerting our communities. A technical officer at the ODM, Emmanuel Joseph, disclosed that along with the RDS, the ODM will soon be releasing a mobile app which will increase the reach of persons alerted in the event of a national emergency. The system is built in a modular approach that you can add things on. Um, as once the, system, once the system is up and running, you, we will add the mobile app as a third com a fourth component sorry to it because we have the radio interrupt and the rds devices once the system is on the email component comes in that persons can log on to the website subscribe for email alerts so that's right where they can make use of their mobile devices and eventually there'll be a mobile app that persons will be able to once they subscribe again you have to log on to subscribe to it or it will be available uh, um, on google play and we are hoping that probably we can even move it to one mobile store as well. So that once persons download it, then they are automatically subscribe to whatever alerts that comes out. Okay, You're watching National Focus. Still to come, Karikov forecasts impactful drought by end of the wet season. Stay with us. Did you know the Caribbean Court of Justice is two courts in one? The CCJ has two functions, an original jurisdiction, which deals with your right to move between CARICOM countries freely and your right to move your money and your business. This is the basis of the CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, and the revised Treaty of Chagaramas, and an appellate jurisdiction to hear appeals from courts of those countries which decide to use it as their final court of appeal and no longer go to the Privy Council. All CARICOM member states who have signed the agreement establishing the CCJ are members of the CCJ. Welcome back. The Caribbean Climate Outlook Forum through the Dominica Meteorological Service has issued a below normal rainfall outlook for the first three months of the hurricane season. The wet season is the period when water reserves are replenished. Coming from a previous wet season of below normal rainfall in some parts of the island and moving into another wet season with the potential to be below normal as well, such an outlook has serious implications for water availability, particularly going into the dry season of 2016. The possibility of the drought conditions have been predicted for the Lesser Antilles and some islands such as Antigua and St. Lucia are in long-term and short-term drought respectively. Other new climate products that Karikov is developing suggest that the number of wet days and the number of seven-day wet spells during the June-July-August season is likely to be below normal as well. 
With that in mind, the Dominica Meteorological Service is advising the public and relevant sectors to practice conservation measures and to develop drought plans. The Office of Disaster Management is reporting that there, is, there has been a steady increase in the interest of the private sector businesses as it relates to national emergency response. In an interview with Program Officer, the Office of Disaster Management, Steve Joseph, he says that it is the hope of the ODM that all business owners have emergency plans put in place. We depend on the private sector uh, to some extent for the, the support of, of this system. Since it's IT based, we, 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 we met with Lyme earlier this week and uh, we have been a, a good partner with Lyme through, through NEPO. Uh, we're hoping to have other agencies on board, uh, DigiPlay. Um, we have gotten good, uh, what I would say, good partnership with the radio stations, um, Q, Voice of Life, uh, Kyrie, and, and DBS. Um, but certainly other private sector organizations are expressing interest in the, in the RDS because this is meant to, to ensure that people get an alert early enough to take action so that they can activate their own own emergency plans. Our hope is that they do have emergency plans. So we want more private sector organizations to come on board. They have been calling for information, asking what it is about. Um, and it's, it's, it's something that we believe, because it's inexpensive, we believe the private sector would, would get more interested. One RDS costs less than 100 US. The officer urged not just business owners, but the general public to take interest in the early warning system. Some of the, the rapid onset events, the, 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 the tsunamis, the earthquakes, um, especially if it's a local, uh, local tsunami, um, I'm hoping that people will begin to take those things seriously. For a, a local tsunami, you may not have sufficient time for, for an early warning system. Um, but if people have the information early, it means they can take action uh, quickly. So we're hoping that people can really get interested in, in the early warning system that's been, been developed for Dominica. It's for all safety, and I believe um, once it's up and running, we will see the benefits. And be before we leave, here's an announcement. The Cultural Division is inviting nominations for the 2015 Golden Drum Awards. Persons, groups, or institutions being nominated should have at least 20 years' experience in the field of culture, and the work of the person or group should have a positive impact in Dominica. Nominations are also invited for special recognition awards. Special recognition awards are issued to such persons, groups, and institutions who have made a contribution in culture for less than 20 years, and to those who have achieved notable success in a particular field of arts and culture. Nomination forms are available at the Old Mill Cultural Center, the Arrow House of Culture, and the Ministry of Culture at the government headquarters. All nominations should reach the Division of Culture at the Old Mill Kinfield by Monday, June 30th. And at the English News, Macpherson St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à ce nouvel en créole, non moins c'est Macpherson Saint-Louis. Premièrement, gouvernement Dominique a fordé ancien président de l'excellence Dr Nicolas Liverpool en lettre l'État vendredi demain. Gouvernement a déclaré période la peine après annoncement de l'amour de Dr Liverpool. Tout droit pour assumer son public qui reste baissé jusqu'à Dr Liverpool Théry. Dr. Liverpool travaille comme président Dominique en octobre l'année 2003 pour septembre l'année 2012 après être tenu une position avocat, juge et puis diplomate. Dr. Liverpool aussi travaille en Afrique et puis aussi assisté et puis révision loi plusieurs pays caraïbes. Il recevra plusieurs honneurs en parmi Order of Caribbean Community et puis aussi plus gros honneur Dominique. Cadavre Dr. Liverpool est exposé en cas de l'état judiciaire ou de plaisir officier et puis public là, montrer dernier respect. Gouan l'audience aussi tient une cérémonie en l'honneur Dr. Liverpool. Président Excellency Charles Sovereign et Madame Sovereign, Premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt et Madame Skerritt, 
Speaker Alex Boyd Knight, Mam Palama Apami Dot, K Atande Letama, Later Dr. Liverpool Agwambi Vandwidi, Kakumasi Atwaze Apwemine, Dr. Liverpool Kitty Day, Madam Livona Liverpool, is Saint a la nouvelle, un comité mette en place pour manager le programme pour pêcher les constituants de Kachako. Parole s'en a sorti au même panneau, honorable Ian Pinard. Le programme s'est passé dans un small comité. Mon roi d'un souffle, Kachako et la pointe, un small comité. Et puis, il est responsable pour manager, pour faire sûr que les gens qui ont tapé le canot là, et puis aussi um, les gens qui ont payé, les pêcheurs qui ont payé um, tous les mois pour ensure que um, le programme la continue. On a repris aussi fait par le projet d'autres projets gouvernement implémenté. À partir de ce qu'on a fait dans la constituante de Soufouye, à partir de ce qu'on a fait, nous avons construction et puis um, Soufouye, Scott said, Boulevard, qui nous a dit, et puis Venezuela et Petrocaribe qui, qui a fait l'argent pour ça. Nous avons allé à, à La Pointe, nous construisons le um, Boulevard de La Pointe là, le CDB a nous l'argent, on, on loue pour, pour faire ça. Et puis, là, vous regardez les deux projets, ça, vous avez un total de 60 millions de dollars. Et puis, ça, c'est un peu de l'argent pour une constituency. Et puis, tout ça fait, il y a 8 ans, 8 ans. Ce gouvernement, ça, depuis 2006, qui a construit des gros maçons en souffrant de la constituency. Ça, c'est un peu de l'argent pour les deux projets. Un droit de nouvelle, même pas le mot pour grand fond, honorable Ivor Stevenson, bien plaisé pour le projet qui est implémenté en constituency. Honorable Stevenson aussi mentionné d'autres projets pour continuer. So, c'est un plaisir pour parler contre ça, c'est concentré contre um, ces projets là. Uh, mon cas dit tout, uh, tout de suite en investissement, mon cas, on a commencé à chimer, ça c'est un plan de coup et fonda, ça c'est un morceau de chimer. Tout le gouvernement qui passe, pas jamais fait rien pour ça. Et puis, à ce parle mon calouet qui mon calouet qui mon souci mais ça a fini et puis à ce parle mon calouet qui comment continuer pour présenter mon pour pour thème ça là mon qui garde quand ils font leur programme leur housing pour qui mon ne ils pouvaient dans caillou et puis pour qui mon ne ont meilleures conditions pour vivre finalement mais c'est madame assez nouvelle un peu le département pompier bien concerné contre différents yeux qui a pris place à présent. Parole Salah, son directeur chef du département pompier de Sahara Dupi. Eh bien, Bouchpaya, c'est toujours un grand affaire pour nous. Il n'y a pas de nous pas de dire Bouchpaya parce que nous avons autant de l'appli à parmi ça que nous avons fait quand même. Moi, ça dit aussi, l'année Salah, il a commencé très bien. Nous avons fait quoi Nous n'avons pas de quitter à dire Bouchpaya. Mais le mois mai, il est nous voyons, nous taper plus d'effet en mois mai, enfin, en département là, qui nous taper pour toute l'année 2014. Comme ça, ça a montré. En headquarters, tout seulement, nous, nous allons, nous, nous allons, 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 nous nous allons, nous 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 Différents côtés qui ont brûlé et nous nous a, nous a aidé, peut-être toi. Du peut faire par Wall les chaque fois, ça a posé un challenge pour les patrons là. Il était ni temps, nous tenions pour quitter Yon, on, on dit qu'il a brûlé. Quitter, aller en l'autre côté où, où la différence là, c'est qu'à venir pour en cahier au monde. Et nous n'y pouvons faire ça plusieurs fois. Quand ça, moi quand j'ai corrigé le monde, enfin, pour y ça tienne chaîne um, placio net nous quand dit mon peut-être um, 15 um, 15 um, feet hot caillou fait si vous voulez aller vers ces premiers hein? mais um, minimum 15 feet hot caillou fait certain ou couper toute zèbre toute bite qui ça brûler parce que ça nous voulait si on dit fait um, venir pour caillou nous voulait faire certain il pas rien ni bon et puis il ni brûler oui, les cas. Enfin, moi, ça dit, nous tenons des toits, moi, quoi, yon, pour certains, on t'y caille brûlé, moi, quoi, ça t'est en talou, en l'année ça là. Et, 
et, et nous venir pour perdre un pays qui a été là aussi. Donc ça, c'est un bitin qui a toujours concerné nous. Mais c'est madame, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle. En créole pour présent, non moi, c'est ma question, c'est l'os. Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. Think water, think life. Water refreshes, restores, cleans, and enhances growth. Potable water is a benchmark for development. Dewasco is serious about its mandate to ensure easy access to potable water island-wide and provide sewage services for a cleaner environment. Dewasco is your water and sewage company. Step away from that computer keyboard and straighten up. For a rejuvenating office stretch, stand facing the corner of a room, raise your hands to shoulder height and be, place your elbows, forearms and hands against each wall. Lean inward and hold the stretch to flex your chest and back muscles and hold that for 15 seconds. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. You could like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow us on Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thanks for watching and do join us again tomorrow for another program. <music>